What's going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Robo, and this is a crazy video because we're here playing a PlayStation Classic and not only is it reborn for PlayStation 4 Pro in glorious, beautiful, new fur, but it's also the first 4K video that I'm posting from my home. That is right, you are going to see Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy in 4K freaking glory thanks to the power of my Ninja Inferno, this new beautiful box that captures games as they're meant to be seen. It is so freaking pretty. I love this franchise. I've got a good story actually of how I got Crash uh, way back in the day, I'll have to tell you. But I'm super pumped to check it out with you guys. If you enjoy, if you think it looks awesome, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button. I want to know what you think of Crash Bandicoot redone, remastered for a new era. There's three Crash games here. We got to start with the OG Classic and see what this thing looks like. How does his fur feel and taste and smell in 4K? But Dr. Cortex, we haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination! This time, I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly, into the Vortex! Dr. Cortex, the Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! Failure again! Capture him! Uh-oh! Prepare the female bandicoot. And just like that, we are in and ready to begin. Thank you guys and girls so much for all your support throughout the years. I think back to where I was when I first played Crash Bandicoot, where I am now playing Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. It is really actually insane. So thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you guys enjoy this throwback made new. <sighs> it's a good day. This is a great day. I love this game, and let me tell you how I got it and how that went. So uh, it was it was Christmas morning, and I had asked for a PlayStation 1, uh, and I wanted a couple games for it. I wanted Crash Bandicoot, uh, I wanted NFL Blitz, I wanted uh, Croc 2, Legend of the Gobos, and I, I open up uh, NFL Blitz first, right? Look at, look at Crash, he's just so happy to be here. He looks freaking fantastic. The whole world itself looks fantastic. These old school platformers. It'll be interesting to see how much of a challenge they are these days. Anyhow, so I open up NFL Blitz, and I'm like, dang, it's for PlayStation. I don't have a PlayStation. I thought I thought maybe I'd get it for, for PC, and I was like, thanks, Grandma. I super appreciate it. I didn't tell her that I don't have a PlayStation. And then I open up Crash, and I'm like, okay, are they messing with me? Are they just forgetful, or what's going on? Because I don't have this system. And I saw my mom, like, look at my grandma and smirk, and I was like, oh, baby, this is going to be good. So it's one of those cases where I accidentally opened up the smaller gift first, and it made me super nervous and slightly, like, real sad in my head. Uh, but at the same time, it made me very, like, curious. I was like, am I actually going to get a PlayStation? And I, I, I try to be really polite. I, I want to be nice. Like, look, these people went out of their way to get me presents, even if it was for the wrong cause. So I could return it or something. But lo and behold, before the date was done, I found a big box, and I opened up a freaking PS1. That old gray box looking incredibly uh, outdated and ancient back then. Uh, but it led me to all sorts of adventures, especially with this dude right here. Give me those apples. And you know what's great about Crash? I freaking love apples. One of my favorite foods, if not my favorite food. Green apples are amazing. I love them so much. And so this, this guy, me and him, we speak the same language. I can feel it. I can feel it in our bones. That's the end of the stage. So I'm going to go back here. Look at this. Very, very, very unique game design as they take us down multiple branching paths. You thought freaking Walking Dead did story choices good. You ain't seen nothing yet. There we go. Did I get enough? I got enough. We're crossing the bridge. And we're going to hit this dang turtle. Uh, we can spin him out the way. 
38 of 49. Where are the extras? What did I miss? 39? Huh. Is this a secret exit? I don't know. I'm gonna go this way anyways. I'm not I'm not going for perfection here. I'm just going for fun. And to see all those freaking uh <laughs> crash animations. We didn't die yet. Uh but he definitely he definitely has some interesting ones. I think there's like over a hundred or something in the entire game. It's pretty crazy. My favorite one is the one where he smashes against the screen. If you guys have seen that one, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, but they, they've put quite a lot of love and care. I actually got to play this game and talk to uh, some of the development team. And it was really awesome just to hear uh, how much they loved Crash and how they tried to really do this game justice, do this series justice. And they went by the exact blueprints, the original levels, and they only made modifications where it seemed necessary and made the game better. So they fixed the camera in some situations. Uh, they made a couple modifications, but for the most part, it is Crash as you know it, as you loved it, uh, and, and it ain't no different. I'm gonna blow that up because we got the Mask of Power. These early stages are a breeze for us, but it's still good. It feels so cool to see, uh, like, this era of gaming. Like, okay, look. What's the last game you played, and how much different is it than this thing, right? Like, the last game I played, um... But it probably would have been at E3. Uh, no, no, no. I played ARMS, okay? And ARMS is a ridiculously beautiful, amazing game. And, like, this compared to ARMS is just so interesting to see where gaming has come. I was playing Horizon Zero Dawn earlier uh, to test out this 4K recording. It's just, it's just crazy to see, like, there's just, like, a, a very pure feeling to these kind of games. And, and games from this era in general, I mean... I'm sure if I went back and played OG Crash Bandicoot, I'd be like, goodness gracious, these graphics look so bad. But in general, like, with the redone graphics that look amazing, I think, in 4K, it, it's just fun to play something from this era and have, like I said, just kind of a pure, a pure feel, a pure, a pure gameplay style. It's very simplistic, but at the same time, very refined. I don't know. There's something I think very, very cool and unique about that. And, and nowadays I'm like, oh god, in very <laughs> complex games, uh, which I love, don't get me wrong. Uh, open world is kind of like the, the huge thing that everybody's gunning for. It's it's fun to see something that is from an era forgotten. And we're just racking up the lives, crushing this second crash level like we know what to do. I got three of those, and in we go to somewhere special. All right. Now, these are a little tricky here. I'm going to try my best not to die. Oh, goodness gracious. It's a bonus level. And we're going to try to not die. All right. We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll be good. This is the third time I played Crash. I played it. Uh, oh, what's up? Girlfriend. Never mind. Hello. Oh, no. Gortex. No. What a freaking villain. He snatched... The girl, like, the game was snatched from me twice before. Uh, it's so good to have the, the full game now, but I played it twice before. Um, once around, uh, once at PSX last year. And then I played it about a month, a month or two months ago. Um, I got to play some of the Crash 3 levels. No, three boxes short. So close. We're getting there, though. We are improving, and we are getting there. See, Bandicoot, you got to feel pretty darn good about that. I only hit you three times. Not really the greatest... Way to take care of a pet, but I'm, I'm trying my best. He's not really a pet, he's more of a friend. I view Crash as like a friend that also happens to be a kind of a rodent. But he's not like a stinky, well, I don't know. They need 5K where you can smell o vision this dude. Although Apple just came out with the 5K IMAX, and I don't think that includes any sort of nose apparatus. So maybe it's 6K, 7K, 8K, 20K. How many Ks can they give us? But well, this is 4K. I'm curious what you guys think. Uh, the video should look extra freaking crispy. Um, and if you aren't able to watch it in 4K, that's okay. It's the same video. Nothing's changed. Nothing changes about my videos. I just wanted to start uploading in 4K. Um, just because it's becoming a bigger and bigger deal. And I thought this like new recording box was absolutely epic. So I want to give it a chance. Turtle Power, what's up? You know Leonardo? You know Donatello? Are you friends with the Splinter? What about the Shredder? The oh, freaking sure. These giant PD piranhas are, are getting me super pumped for Mario. And I, I love that Mario is going back to a uh, a a time forgotten to 3D Mario, right? There's been so much 2D Mario lately. Uh, or hybrid Mario. And, and don't get me wrong, I love 3D World. That game is phenomenal. But I'm so glad we're getting back to the sandbox style with Odyssey. I feel like it's a good year for old mascots. Sonic's getting two releases. Sonic Mania, Sonic Forces. 
Crash has a release. Now we got freaking Mario coming back in full force. What is this? Oh, there we go. Okay. Nicely done, Crash Boy. Which is your favorite of those three? Are you more of a, a Crash guy or girl? A Mario guy or girl? Or a freaking... Uh, look at this monkey. He's got quite the animations there. Uh, or a... No! I screwed it up. Mario Crash Sonic. Let me know in the comments down below as we dodge this thing, dodge that thing. Everybody's trying to villainize us and burst our... Whoa! What up, dude? You're angry. Hey, whoa, look at that. Ugh. What do I got to do with this dude? Please? Gotcha. Boom. Get out of my way. I'm going to make you pay. You're going to wish that you didn't bring that shield today. All right. Whoa. We're sliding down. Crash does not have grass shoes. You know when you, like, get your shoes all... Oh, wow. You know when you get your shoes all covered in grass? Like, if you're, if you're mowing the lawn, they get all kind of, like, slippery like that? That's kind of what we got going on here with Crash. Got some slippery shoes. Got some extra lives. Ooh, my butt is burning. I'm about to get sporked. Oh, oh, I got it. Good. Okay, bonus level. We're going to go chase the freaking beautiful blonde again. She is Crash's diva in disguise. Yes, yes, please. Okay, let's get out of there. Uh, hit this thing. And here we go. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yep. Eight out of 11. Not... Where's the, where's the freaking 11th one? Where's the 11th one? Is it the TNT? Can I make this jump? Yes, I can. Oh, it's this one. Hey, get out of here. That's 11 out of 11. Cortex, can you bring her back now? I did I did the 11. I'm freaking 11, 11. I'm making a wish. And I want you to bring her back. Not a very good listener. He's not freaking listening to me at all. It's interesting. I've been recording with an Elgato uh, HD 60 forever. And I'm so used to capturing in Game Capture HD. If you know what that is, that's what I've captured in forever. And now I'm capturing it in this Ninja Inferno. And I unboxed it uh, a couple days ago. It's a really cool device. It's basically like a little 7-inch screen. And I connect the PS4 Pro directly to it. And then I record directly on that. So I'm recording my audio on my laptop right now. Uh, but the actual game is getting recorded directly onto an SSD in the Ninja Inferno. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I was fascinated by these things when I first saw them. Absolutely fascinating because they're really interesting. And it's so unlike... Uh, it's so unlike any of the other recording devices, right? Like, it's it's very different. It's not the traditional capture card that connects your computer. Uh, it's, it's an SSD direct recording that then you connect your computer. Pretty cool. It's actually a really unique uh, and awesome thing. And it, it's like a very... I don't know. It's like... It is a... <laughs> I'll put it this way. It's a very expensive way to capture. But it's like the only way to get true 4K out of a PlayStation or a home console right now. And I had to do it for you guys. I want I want to get it. Because so when Assassin's Creed Origins comes out, when Battlefront comes out, when freaking Destiny comes out, we are playing it as pretty as possible. And I'm trying not to spin on these apples because it will make you lose them. But the boulders say hello and clearly crash his mouth. He's like, oh my god, do not squash me. I don't want to be pepperoni. Nobody wants to be pepperoni, especially not Crash. Because he knows that he knows he'd be good pepperoni. And so somebody would, oh, no, somebody will eat that freaking pepperoni. Yikes. Peel me off and blow me up. I need to become whole again. Okay, so I just learned a hard lesson about 4K recording. The file sizes are freaking huge. I didn't realize it stopped recording, so I actually diamonded this level. We're gonna go try to do another diamond. And once you get the diamond, you can go for time trials. Really freaking awesome. Uh, but so basically, uh, if you if you if you know anything about 4K video, you know that the files are gigantic. But I guess I did I just underestimated how big they really were. Get this, 17 minutes of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy at 4K as we got pepperonied by this gigantic boulder. 180 gigabytes. Goodness gracious sakes alive. I had 200 gigs of free space on this SSD. I was like, oh, that's plenty. Plenty for the video. Nope, how wrong I was. But we're going to do this again and try not to be smushed into small-sized meat. I know up here there's a box. I'm just going to break it and let that apple get eaten alive. I feel bad for you, Apple. I miss you, Apple. Me and Apple, we're, we're really good friends. I take good care of apples. They take good care of me. They're my go-to airplane food. Apples are my go-to travel snack. If I'm about to be at an event, if I'm about to be on a plane, if I'm about to be on a train, if I'm about to be on a... 
a long Uber, if I'm about to be on anything, I want the freaking apples, please. I'm always, always up for apples. It's like the, the, uh, the Energizer bunny of foods. It always is working, it always is worth it, and it's always good for me. Okay, well, I already got the diamonds, so it's not gonna give me it again, but I promise you we diamonded this stage. We diamonded it, and we're moving back to the Wumpa Islands, which I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I do not remember if the Wumpa Islands were in the OG game. Was this, was this how you selected levels? Or was it a more typical style via, like, uh, like crash, was it from like a, almost like a spoked hub and then you'd walk out to the levels. I think it was like that, right? This is a new look, I think. Is my, is my memory betraying me? I don't remember, but ooh, I like this one. I like this one. Maybe you don't have to get a diamond. Maybe you can, if you beat the level, then you can come back and do time trials because I don't think I diamonded this stage, but it's offering time trial. Well, you know what? Let's just see what happens if we hit the time trial. I thought it was only if you diamonded it, but I guess it's like, what the heck? Taking a dip. Crash like, please don't drown me. I'm just a bandicoot. I want to stay dry out here. It really is a hoot. Um, anyhow, yeah, so it looks like if you beat the level, then you open up the time trial option. You don't need to get a diamond. So, yeah, I actually, and then, oh, and then you hit these things, and they give you more time. I actually beat this level as well, just to, again, be real honest with you, before I realized that the... Uh, the machine, the Ninja Inferno, had stopped recording like a punk. All right, so we're going to hit that. We're going to hit that. Stop at the light. Look both ways. Look both ways again. Smush that fishy fish. I like that we're basically playing Frogger here. Rolling through the leaves with my Bandicoot bud. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. All right. Guess that stops. Oh, wow. Yikes of Ramba. Yikes of Roomba. All right, and then we climb up here, get a little bit more time. A 46. Oh, what is that? Is that there? No, that is definitely not there. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Crash Man. All right, right back at him. We're climbing, we're climbing, and we're ready to go. I'm not going to let this time trial phase me. We're just going to ride our leaves like the frog we wanted to be when we were a baby. Crash Man is like telling his mom, like, I just want to be a freaking tadpole. She's like, nope, you're a bandicoot. And uh, that was not very successful on the box hunt, but it's because I think we activated the time trial. I just want to see what those were. Ooh, look at that. We get a freaking Ruby Ankh. I like that. Enter our initials. G. H. R. I think that would be Ghost Robo's initials. Or it would be G. R. I don't know. But all right. We'll take that. I'm not going to do the time trials from here on out. Uh, at least in this video. But it is a nice, fun thing. I like the fact that they've added that in there. I'm pretty, 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 pretty freaking pleased about that. All right, upstream, no diamond, but we got the onk. Ghost Robo, what is this? Coco's time machine? What the heck? Okay, first I want to do this Papu Papu. Who is the Papu Papu? What is the Papu Papu? All right, we're about to... Oh, dude. What a hunk. What a beautiful, beautiful boy. What's up, Papu Papu? How you doing? Oh, golly goodness. Okay. I'm gonna... What the heck? Oh, my God. He wants to be a clock. Dude, it's not Halloween yet, but he wants to be the lamest costume ever. A clock? What are you doing? I'm an angel for Halloween. Beat that. Clock. Look at this dude. He wants to be a freaking clock. All right, we're gonna sit in his chair, jump on his hair. Look at this guy. All right. This is quite the boss battle. You just bob him in the head until he is dead, but I love the colors and how they just pop, especially in 4K. Game looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. It'd be funny, like, to go back. Look at his butt. It'd be funny to go back and not look at his butt. Oh, no. It would be funny to go back and see uh, what, you know, like, run these side by side and see how it all, like, worked out in the olden days plus today. But... Yeah, it's weird. There we go. Come on now. Okay, one more hit. We're not going to die. I was messing around with you the first little time, admiring your booty. But I'm not going to get phased now. We're going to bounce on you and give that double peace sign because we are all about victory up in here. And just like that, we're out of here. What the heck is Coco's time machine? It's time to see what that is. 
head back to the Wumpus Rumble. Summon straight out of where the wild things are. It's a creepy movie. Yikes. Dude has no arm. Gets his arm torn off. Okay, what the heck? What is Coco's time machine? Do I want to join her adventure? What does that mean? <gasps> oh! I can be freaking Coco in the levels? Dude! Dude! I forgot this was a feature! Okay! Let's give it a little look. Let's see what she's all about. <sighs> she's not going to be as sad about those bonus stages as Crash. But... She is the awesome sibling. Look at how cool she looks with the updated visual. Oh, that is so freaking dope. I love that. Coco, you look freaking cool. That's such a nice addition. All right. We're still collecting the weird, creepy, blonde, temptress coin things. All right, but we're gonna we'll rock a level as Coco. I won't I won't I won't do too much Coco. Ooh, but I will do that guy, Old Man Boltenstein. I think he's a boss, isn't he? Woo. Please don't burst my bubble, hurt my hair, or get my rubble. Get get stuck in rubble. We could write songs if you guys want. Probably not. Probably, probably no time for songs. All right. Boom. Look at that. Straight old shot with the TNT box. I am an appreciative Coco fanatic. All right. Oh, God. Oh, yikes. Okay. That was freaking not the way to, <laughs> not the way to rumble, but uh, it'll be okay. All right, no holds barred. Checkpoint, Coco. Team Coco. Oh, too much of a jump. Too big of a jump. Oh, no, the shoes and the book. Ah, oh, dear diary. This terrible Ghost Robo man tried to murder me by sending me into a deep, dark chasm. All right, another lady head. I want... Dang. Uh, all right, let's, let's be good here. Let's get that focus back. Our focus was on point. The first couple levels, and we need to, I want to, I want to get that back. There's a gap, mind the gap, jump the map. All right, here we go. And let these things pass, and go, and go. All right, all is well, as long as this platform does not try to knock me off. We're all good. Okay, more apples in my fruit boot. I need, a, I need a freaking container for all these apples. This is much more than a bushel. This is like 10 bushels. Three, oh no. Look at this thing. Can I... Come on, Coco. Whip that ponytail. Let's pull a Dixie Kong and knock this thing out the sky. Uh, get them apples. There we go. All right, we burst that crate. That, that was pretty... Uh-oh. That thing is definitely going to fall. Okay, whoa. Yup, 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 yup. And we're going to the bonus level. We're taking Coco to the bonus level. She is awesome looking. This is so freaking cool. Look how great she looks. Okay. All right, so we got to... Wow. Okay, we got to burst all these. Okay, careful. We're doing good, Coco. You're you're the boss. Okay, let's take a deep breath. Here we go. You can't mess up because if you make one wrong move, you're screwed out of luck. Okay, 21. There we go. Oh, baby, lady. Uh, hey! Freaking Neocortex, you and your Doom Boom hairstyle. I don't know where he got that. Freaking Fantastic Sam's? By himself? Maybe he cut his own hair. He seems like a dude that would want to cut... I mean, like, I don't trust anyone with this mean mop. Ooh, there's three of him? No way! Where was there a third old man with bolts in it? Uh, how did the bolt lord evade me this time? How did he do it? Where was his... It must have been... Wow. Again. How in the heck did I miss 25? I guess I missed some crates because I didn't get to go to Boltenstein's lair. Oh, God. I feel even worse for Coco. She's about to get slurped with so many... Oh, yes. At least she's got protective cover. What's that, an iPad? Is that a book or an iPad? I think Coco has upgraded the 21st century. Poor little thing. I think she is rocking with an iPad. Or what's the Sony equivalent of an iPad? Uh, a PlayStation Vitopolis? Eh. Let's see. Okay. Now take me to Hog... Oh, Hog Wild. This one's not... Oh, okay. Coco can't do this level. Coco can't do Hog Wild. Why not? What's going on in Hog Wild? I, I'm worried about this one. Those pearly whites are looking at me. That fake nose on that, that that mask is definitely he has a nose job. I know it for sure. Oh, it's a pig riding stage. 
Okay, they only modeled crashes, but... Okay, here we go. We're pig rolling. Are we gonna pig roast this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. I forgot that these levels were even in the game, dude. This is so awesome. Crash, I love you. I hope you guys are having fun with this, because I am, like, legit having a blast. The pig can jump a lot. He's a Whoa. Oh! The pig can also launch me like a lunatic. Here we go. I got 20 lives, so that's not going to be a problem. Ugh! Stop trying to splat crack. Crack could crash. <laughs> I just called him crack. <laughs> okay, there we go. Thread the needle. Thread the... Oh, man. I love how Crash just cannot... He cannot do it by himself this path. There's something on the ground that just... Oh, okay, so I'm going to go right. And then right. I don't know. This is tricky. Things are heating up. Papu Papu signaled a new level of Crash difficulty. All right, here we go. I got it this time. I love the precision required in these levels. They they make me so freaking happy. I, I love the, the precise nature. They want you to be basically perfect. And we can do it. I got to get all these boxes. Swipe. Sw oh, I missed. Okay, smash your head. It's okay. Man, that poor pig. I didn't realize the pig died too. Now I feel terrible. Okay, it's all good. We got a checkpoint. So we're, we're, we're all the way we're right here. So this is all going to be good. All right, we just got to kind of side swipe them. Yeah, there we go, Crash Bandicoot! They're doing good work. What the heck? They're skewering other animals! This is like poacher's country! We gotta be careful. Do not let my pig get hunted for food! Jump! Jump! Oh, hog wild. 24 diamond, baby! Diamond on the pig! I feel like a freaking... I am definitely king of the pigs. I'm basically babe. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, yes. Two diamonds! Feels so good. I'm gonna put both of them up his fake nose. But it's okay. He doesn't have a body, so it's not like he needs oxygen anyways. So it's just gonna be decorative, not destructive. Trust me on this one. Okay, Coco is back. Um, let's do one more Coco level in the native fortress. We'll see what she can do one more time. I think that's a good idea, right? And then we'll go back to Crash, but I like kind of like this flip-flop. I think Coco's kind of cool. And I like that they included it in there. As a fun little extra. Okay, so this is another another verticality-driven stage here. We're going to bounce some of these, get some of our lives back that we lost on that angry ornery pig. Man, some of those were really precise. I'm surprised. I like that, though. Okay. Why do I feel like this is going to get real hard? Maybe it's not. I don't know. Have we done this stage? Why does this... Oh, no. I was going to say, we haven't done... Have we? This looks so familiar. I don't remember there being... I don't have we done this? Okay, this has... This has to be new, right? It just looks similar? Yeah, I don't think there's ever a stage called some Fortress. Yeah, this is like the... Okay, it's like a bigger version. Okay. I got more of my freaking lady things. Sounds weird, but doesn't... I don't mean it weird. Shh, don't... Don't judge me. <laughs> Alright. We're going apple picking with Coco and me, Coco and you, Coco and us three. I wish she could do like the hair spin that freaking Dixie Kong can do. Okay. Let this burn up because even if you're above it, it will burn you. All right. Pop the turtles. I'm going to let them be. I don't, there's no reason to hate on turtles, right? We can let them live. Turtles deserve life. Monkeys deserve life. Actually, monkeys don't. That guy was annoying. Okay. We have to. Oh, it's a bounce pad. Hey. Trying to bop my top. Okay. I love that they bop you not into the pit. Like, that's so kind of them, you know? Ooh. Coco, you tried to do like a little mini jump and it didn't work out so well. All right, good thing we're right here. Get rid of here. I'm sorry, turtles. I'm sorry, but it was bad luck to leave you. Michelangelo, Donatello, Raphael, Leonardo. I love the Ninja Turtles when I was little. They, if Ninja Turtles would have been as cool as Crash, that would have been awesome. They definitely... Their, their game... Well, some of their games were good. All right. I think I can do a full jump. I guess I can. I thought I couldn't do a full jump, but I definitely can. All right. Shoot those guys away. Oh, gosh. Oh, golly. Golly, golly. That was scary. Okay. Checkpoint me. 
Give me that checkpoint. Thank you. And we're gonna pop these guys straight out of here. Get out of here, Turtlelicious. I try to do those tiny jumps to avoid the spikes. I don't want... Her hair is so perfect. I know how hard it is to get hair looking good, and I don't want to... I don't want to mess with that. I have no masks right now, so I kind of have to be careful with the fiery pits. The fiery pit... Hey! Get out my league. Get out my way. Bounce today. Okay. Gently slot... Oh, TNT. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go. Ah. Whew, we're all right. We live another day. We live, we breathe, we get an extra life, we hit the monkey, and we're, we're climbing again. There we go. Third is a charm, and we're bonus worlding it up once more. This is beautiful. All right. I love these because they are some of the toughest challenges. Okay, I think we're good. Three out of five crates. Oh, dude. Four, five. That was a short bonus. That wasn't much of a bonus at all. They just want to keep... Neocortex in the forefront of our minds for the slippery little demon that he is. All right, you got to hit that. Climb real quick. Climb real quick. Get it. Got it. Good. I got to get a bigger... Oh, wow. It's time for a bigger bounce. I need a real big bounce there. Ugh. All them apples. All of them apples. Oh, there's a little... Did you see that little guy? I want him. Yikes. <laughs> that was a fall to remember. And it what is that? Oh, that was the that was the bonus room. I'm like, was there a fire pit there? I don't remember that at all. Yikes. Alright, so they're they're on a timer. Here we go. Be quick about it, Cokes. There we go. Okay. One jump for fun, two jumps for play. There we go. Got the boogalala. Got the goobadala. Got the gooby. And we're gonna checkpoint it up into another turtle power room. There we go. Bounce it. Look at that. Look at off in the distance. What is that castle? Oh, and we used. Dang it, we used him. Okay. No. Oh. Whoa. That is one way to get heated. Knock him out the way. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Jump and hit. Oh, Angelic Coco loves us. She probably loves more if we didn't keep killing her. Dang it. It's fine. Whatever. Ah! Never mind. We're going to get another chance. <laughs>
looking at my recorder, it's like you only got a couple minutes left. And and that's what's nice. This 4K thing, it it does take a lot of gigs and it does record way 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 big files. But the good news is that it lets you know. So I can see. Okay, I've got a couple minutes left, and so I know before time is out that I can do one more level with you guys. I hope you guys are liking it. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you like the 4K. Let me know what you think of the game in the 4K in the comments down below. Not sure if we're gonna do more, but I definitely want to know what you guys think. Uh, if you want, if you want to see more, how pumped about that you would be. So let me know in the comments. Tell me your thoughts. Give me your story. Uh, and remember to let me know what you think of, of the battle between Crash Sonic and Mario, because I'm curious. All right, I'm doing good. There's monkeys by the river now, down by the bay. It used to be just for watermelon. Now there's freaking monkeys. What is this planet coming to, Crash? That guy is very hungry. I feel like we owe him like some Cheerios or something, right? Like we gotta, we gotta feed him a little bit. Ah, it's a big leap. Big leap into a mouth. Imagine doing that. Imagine making a leap. And not only do you have to make a giant leap, that's terrifying. Because you might die. But your giant leap is into a giant mouth. I don't know. That's, that's freaky business for me. I don't even know. I don't know if I would be brave enough to do half of the jumps that Crash does. He is basically the OG Nathan Drake. I mean, it's a freaking Naughty Dog game. So he kind of is the OG Nathan Drake, isn't he? In a weird way. An explorer. Doing big things, doing doing things you couldn't couldn't expect a man to do, making some crazy climbs, making some crazy what what the heck happened? I don't know what I did, but it seems good. Doing crazy climbs, doing crazy. Oh no! I hit the freaking bonus girl. I didn't mean to hit your face. Okay, I gotta die. I, I cannot let bonus girl. I, I cannot let her have the last laugh. We have to have the last laugh. She is the bonus girl that we are gonna chase. Cortex cannot have the last lap. All right, what the heck did this open up? Oh my God, trash bandicoot! You're a punk, Lord. Ugh. All right, we let the fish do one more leap. Leap for, leap for love, leap for love, leap for love. All right, I like these because you get to run on them. Yikes! There we go. Okay, I don't know what that does, but okay. Here we go. Bounce with. Okay, there we go. I got it. I got the bonus face. All is well again in the world. Making the leaps that nobody can make. Making the leaps. Okay, I gotta be careful. Like, I don't want to hit that bottom box because that's going to have the bonus girl. Bonus girl, bonus girl. Take me to your planet world. Let's go. Come on, baby. 30 boxes. This is a big one. This is a crazy one. Okay. Okay, I think we're going to go. Oh, we're going to go. Oh, no. Okay, I did it. I did it. I'm okay. I'm okay. Little moves. Little moves, Crash. Little moves. Little moves. Ooh. Okay, we're at 19. Oh, wow. This one's... Oh, no! Crash! That one's hard. Can we do it again? Let's give it one more try. That one's tricky. Okay, so I think I need to bounce up. Yeah, I gotta use my X button. Because if you X button, uh, you can bounce high on, on this stuff. Okay. So we're just gonna go up. This is good practice. Good practice. I love these. I would play like a whole level of just this, like an entire, like 200 crates. Okay, maybe I'm asking, maybe I'm, maybe I'm going crazy and I shouldn't. Okay, oh god, nervous, nervous. There we go. Yes! Look at that! Look at that! That's how you get 30. She may have gotten stolen, she may be a kidnapped creature, but she sure is impressed with Crash. She sure is impressed with Crash, I can just feel it. I can feel it in my Crash Bandicoot bones, and we're getting lives, which is good. You gotta get the lives. Gotta get the lives. Stock up the li- Oh, two crates away, my friends. Almost a diamond, but you guys are all diamonds in my book. Let me know if you think this game is a diamond. If you want to see more of what you're thinking about, if you like the 4K, I hope you do. I'm just about out of footage, so this is going to wrap up perfectly. Until next time, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had fun today. This game is super nostalgic, but also super cool, and I'm loving the increased difficulty. As we move to the back half of this video, it's gotten crazy, which I like. I like as it improves, and Ripper Roo is where we start things off. If you guys want to see him, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you had fun today. Until next time, everybody, drink so much. I love you. You are awesome. We will see you all later.